So for the neck, we got more uh, Grayson County woods here. We got sugar maple that I cut, I guess about 10 years ago or something, but I got this wood from Audrey Hash. She called me up and said that she, uh, neighbors had dropped off some wood that I could have. And it was just basically logs for firewood. And, but the whole tree was covered in this curl. And so I went up and cut that. I think we're gonna make a, a five piece neck out of this. Uh, you can see that curl on there. So we're gonna laminate a neck out of five pieces. And um, this stuff's nice and seasoned. It's nice and straight and grain. It'll be real strong. A lot of people like a, like a maple neck for tone. They think it makes a better guitar. Um, and so this is a bit denser than mahogany. Um, these are mahogany slats in the middle, but in theory, it'll be really stable. Um, I'll be able to carve this neck pretty thin and have a lot of strength to it and be really resonant. And then we're going to put a piece of, this is a piece of ebony that um, came out of Albert Hash's workshop and it's been passed down through a couple of luthiers and I've got it now and this is about big enough to make a couple fingerboards or a bridge and a fingerboard. So it's well seasoned, really dark, really hard to find ebony like this these days. And so we're going to cut this up and use that for the for the fingerboard on this guitar and the bridge. Pretty cool to have a, a neck made out of wood that had passed through Albert Hash's shop and the maple that Audrey Hash had handed down to me too. So it's kind of a special, special woods on this guitar and for sure on this neck. Mother.